Hey, it's Nick Bag TV. You know, is that is that like faltering my judgment? Is that why I just said immediately hi? Because I just want to hate on G on it? Like what's going on with that? I need to work on that. But let me get back in perspective, man. G Unit 19. I, I, I'm still going to say hi. <clears throat> they had a huge impact. But when I put G Unit over the locks, now that I look at the list, just the locks. Because then you got to prove the locks. But I said you got to look at the locks and look at what the locks have. They got Jada Kiss, so you look at that, that bring the locks up. But if you got G Unit, you look at 50, that bring them up. So yeah, I think G Unit. Is I'll put them over the lock. I think they're better than lock. Diplomats, yeah. But again, EPMD, one of my favorite groups. So this is going to be hard for me to say any, any too many groups is better than EPMD. G Unit, I would not say that. Um, I mean, G Unit didn't have a lot of albums group wise. So it'd be hard for me to say they were better than Black Star, you know. MOP to me, you know. Kid and Play, they was classic, but yeah, it's. Goody Mob, I'm like, come on. It's hard to put. I would say hi. Okay, 18, 3, 6, Mafia. <clears throat> so they saying 3, 6, Mafia is that much better than Bone Thugs. Interesting. Because Bone Thugs was what? um 21, so they're they a little bit better than Bone Thugs. They did get a Grammy. So I, they, they got some, some hits. They got some stuff that we always going to listen to. Uh, 18. That's hard. I'm going to go with right. I'm not going to just shit on the South every time a Southern artist is high. I'm going to say right with them. But still, it's just, it's, it's, I'm still thinking about how low Goody Mob is and MOP is now. And not saying, oh, they over. I'm not, I'm just saying how low they are. If you think about how high some of these other groups is being in. Let's see who else. I'm trying to figure out who they left out. Cypress Hill. Dog. Okay, I'm going to say hi, literally and figuratively, and actually, <laughs> but realistically, dang, man, I did a lot of little things right there, but Cypress Hill at 17, that, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. <clears throat> I mean, I could just kill a man, I get it. Cypress Hill, you know, they, they the smoking, they like they smoke weed. They the Mexican group that smokes weed. I get it, dude. Let's see what songs they got offhand. I can't even remember. All I remember is I could just kill them. Oh, insane in the brain, hits from the bong. You wanna be a superstar? Superstar? I could just kill a man. Okay, we got we we got some we got some songs that did you know great. That they can they can probably tour tour on forever, like they can always get in somebody's show with insane in the membrane and I could just kill a man like somebody always gonna be like yeah, dude I could just I could just kill a man and hit from the bong and get the fuck out. <laughs> they always gonna have that bag, so I still think they high. You know what, dude? Like seriously though, like Cypress Hill, shit, the sixteen might as well be third base. Just being out house of pain. I'm just being honest. Who is 16? Beastie Boys. Okay. Okay. Beastie Boys at 16. I'm going to say hi. Because I, I, I feel like Beastie Boys is one of the most overrated rap groups in the history of hip hop. Just because I, I, I don't think anybody black, definitely white specifically. <laughs> Wanted to be like the Beastie Boys. Like, you, I like, like, no. Like, you didn't see white kids dressing like the Beastie Boys. They were dressing like Randy right MC, NWA. They was trying to, you know, the ones that wanted to be cool. It wasn't wearing stuff like that. You know, they were wearing, they was trying to, you know, wear the other stuff. And they wasn't trying to rap. Like, you didn't see a lot of, like, after the Beastie Boys, what other, like, white group came out? Like, come on, man. And don't you dare start bringing up random names like what about White Forever? What about White White the White Mafia family? Nick back. What about Whitey and <laughs> Third Base? <laughs> third Base, Nick back. Third Base. 
Like, nah, man. I'm not buying a 60. They too high. 20 something. Okay, 15. Naughty by nature. You know what? <sighs> I'm going to say right, but I wouldn't be mad if Naughty by nature was 10. Actually, I mean, I would not be mad if they 10. Like, you could say, what well, Naughty by nature is basically the black version of Cypress Hill. Like, they're going to get invited to a, a concert and sing Hip Hop Parade, OPP. They're going to tell them to get the hell out of here. Like, what's the difference, Nick Back? You're being racist? No. What I think is, I think Naughty by Nature had more impact on the culture than Cypress Hill. Like, Naughty by Nature OPP was like, <laughs> man, that song was so crazy. Like, grown ups was talking about it. Like, what is OPP? It's other people's property. I thought it was other people's penis. <laughs> other people's pussy. You can't say, like, other people's property. That's what it is. It's, it's the property of other people. They're talking about robbing. Like, what? It was just weird. Like, OPP was weird, man. Because even as a youngster, you kind of figured out, like, oh, that's what it meant. Oh, okay. Other people's, you know. But, yeah, that was a good song. Um, Hip Hop Parade. Yeah, that was a good song. But, you know, when it came to Naughty by Nature, dude, that, that they had one song that was called The Craziest. I was like, dog. That shit is weak as hell. New, New York niggas is the craziest. Detroit niggas is the craziest. It's like, dog, shut the hell up. Trying to get, get play from every part of the world. Like, weak as hell, dog. But, yeah, Tretch was a beast. I mean, if you listen to, like, Eminem, you kind of can hear some Tretch, really. But, yeah, that's that on now, man. Not by nature. 50, oh, I went down too fast, but check this. I already saw it. 14, The Fugees. Another one of my best uh, groups. And I'm definitely going to go with Low. Too Low. Fuji should be in the top 10. Well, with one album, they should be in the top 10. Period. One album, they should be in the top 10. The, um, the score, I mean, I don't think there's too many rap albums that's even close to that. Like, the score to me was like, whoa. What did I? It was, you could play it just through. It plays, it plays, it's just, uh, uh. A different is it's like nothing before it and nothing after it. That's what I say about the Fuji's man. Like you would never see two guys and a girl with the girl being the best rapper by far and not really being sexual with it. You never see that. You never see a girl just carry two just two like just, I would say, slightly above average rappers. I'm not going to say White Clef is whack. He's slightly above average. Price is just a hair. Like, Price has just enough talent to get signed. Just enough. Like, if you're looking for the, the line in between getting signed back in the day or getting on or blowing up or whatever you call it nowadays, going viral... It's prize. Prize is the Mendoza line, like prize line. It's like if I can be hot, if I can get doper, if I think I'm better than prize, I deserve to be heard. He's by far one of the <laughs> least talented rappers I've ever heard. Like his voice is trash. When he talks about his trash, his life has become trash. It's just, it's just he was just terrible. One of the lucky, I don't know. We should do it. We should do a vote. Who's who's luckier in hip hop, Prize or Memphis Bleak? <laughs> like who's the luckiest? All right, let's go to thirteen. Pfft, mob deep. Yep. Thought we was gonna make it in the top ten, man. I'm gonna say too 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 low. Thought we was gonna make it to the top ten, man. Thug life, man. Why you had to raise me this way? They told me how to survive on my deep. <laughs> Come on, dog. My deep, man. Are you serious? Classic group, man. Havoc, one of my favorite rappers. Prodigy, one of one of my favorite producers. They just, they, 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 man. Just classic after classic, dude. Like shook ones. That's again. That's the song they're gonna play when they talk about the history of hip hop. <laughs> They might even play Survival of the Fittest. They might even play Quiet Storm. <laughs> like, they got three songs 
that you might play in the history of hip hop if you had to play like the the top songs like those three songs might get on there dude that's crazy crazy dude and um i mean what can you say about them them dudes just kept it kept it you know as real or as consistent as possible till they got with 50 cent they got a little loose but at the end of the day they they found their roots man just just a classic group and you know they 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 was more influential than a lot of people think. I put them up there with the Outcasts and the Wu Tangs, honestly, man. When it comes to Mob Deep, I really do. I just think they one of the most underrated hip hop groups ever. Prodigy one of the most underrated lyricists ever, and um, Havoc one of the most underrated like producers. Like these dudes, I don't think they get enough props, but I think they will. Cause I think hip hop is like I said, it's gonna go super underground in 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 a, in a minute, and guys like these are be. The people is just like, oh my God, what this is so different. I just feel like they they got they they got a, a sound that's gonna wake up, you know, some it's gonna wake up some people. That's what I say. So Mob Deep definitely a tool. I think their influence hasn't even started yet, really. All right, number twelve. I mean, Grand Master Flash and the Furious Five. You know what? I'm going to go right because I never listened to him. I don't know too much about him, so I'm not going to sit here and be like, Yo, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, when he came, uh, no. I'm not going to even try. So, I guess, 12, I go right. Um, let's go to 11. <laughs> Migos. Number 11. We go with Migos. Oh, man, I'm definitely going to go too high. Just in my opinion. Like, 11... That means these you you saying they are, I mean I don't know maybe somebody can enlighten me in the comments and be like no nah, Nick back no Migos really, they really are like top eleven trust me like somebody can tell me that then I can possibly be like okay I believe you. but right now I, I just don't know about Migos I don't I just don't get, 